Centennial CD. Billy H. first performed spoken word at Poetry in the Brew in 2017, hey! And in 2018, he joined local tour de force, Poboys and Poets. Anybody familiar? Poboys! Thank you. The pandemic took him into his word cave where Billy H. stayed writing over 600 new pieces. Ooh, are we enthused to hear some of them tonight? Everyone give a warm welcome, Billy Anderson! Three years ago, when I began this adventure, I was not a poet then, nor am I a poet now. Most of my experience in the arts community is with musicians. And I'd like to share some anecdotes of our adventures together. Let me begin with Marshall Baker, one of the most fascinating troubadours I've ever met. A violinist from Portland, Oregon. I discovered Marshall busking for tips from tourists in the airport at New Orleans. Just back from his adventure in China, Marshall accepted an invitation to play on my spoken word project, American Nile. And he drove me to our mutual friend, Brian Brignac studio, in the middle of the swamp, north of New Orleans, south of Baton Rouge, in Sonoma, Louisiana. At the session with some of the world's greatest Cajun musicians, Marshall introduced me by a title I'd never been given. Libretto. Ironically, that's what I'd always perceived myself to be. A lyricist, not a poet. For the first time in my life, with that title, Marshall made me feel like an artist. So I decided to write a lyric called Artist. And I gave it to another musician from Portland, Oregon, Ralph Friedrichson of the Paul Thorne Band. Ralph wrote a melody, did an arrangement, then produced a recording of it at a studio here in East Nashville. Now, if Ralph were here, he would do it justice. I will not, but as we say, it goes something like this. An artist, one of a kind, unique heart, soul, and mind, often tortured like Van Gogh. Why despise who the hell knows? Artists cut from different cloth to genius that can't be bought. Ray Charles, the blues in black, living those words, hit the road, Jack. An artist is born, not made. You can throw the mold away. Original in small details, gifts of God that cannot fail. Impossible to copy. Forget it. There ain't one. Imposters can trace a picture, but it takes an artist to paint one. And an artist is what you are, working on a masterpiece. The best thing you've ever done is reveal true love to me. Life's the canvas. You are the brush. And with amazement, I feel your touch. Because an artist is born, not made. You can throw the mold away. Original in small details. A gift of God that's not for sale. Impossible to copy. Forget it. There ain't one. Imposters can trace a picture. But it takes an artist to paint one. Speaking of artists, Vincent Van Gogh, 
one of the most tortured souls this cruel world has ever rejected. Everybody knows the failed artist who only sold two paintings for meager amounts of money, supported mostly by the charity of his brother Theo, the only believer in Vincent's talent. Before his now famous watercolor landscapes, Vincent was a sketch artist. We're not sure what happened to those sketches, but apparently most of them were collected by the rag man who sold them for pennies to people who used them to stuff in the cracks of their outhouses. The world, as per usual, treating Vincent van Gogh lack crap, shit on all of his damn life. But the failed preacher is who has been forgotten. You see, before Vincent van Gogh was a failed painter, he was a horribly humiliated minister to miners. The only man of the cloth who would go down into the mines, emerging with Look all over his tattered clothes. An embarrassment to the clergy. The church hierarchy dismissed him as a disgrace. After he was gone from the ministry, a fellow minister's wife lamented, This poor soul whom we mistook for a mad man, may have been a saint. Now that is the heart of an artist. And that is what my friend Billy Lawson and I at Wishbone Studio in Muscle Shoals attempted a couple of years ago to honor. We called our song simply Van Gogh. And as soon as we finished writing it, Billy sent it to the next artist he was planning to produce. The legendary B.J. Thomas of Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head fame. And as soon as B.J. heard Van Gogh, he agreed to come to Alabama and record it. But he warned us, until they get a vaccine, I'm not leaving the house. So we waited a year for B.J. to get his vaccination. But by the time he got his second shot, he had been diagnosed as terminally ill with pancreatic cancer. So I'm never going to have the privilege of hearing the great B.J. Thomas sing these words. Where and what? You woke up in, can't remember where you slept, all tapped out and all crushed in like your empty new beer cans. You lose your house, you sell your car, all that matters is your art. So when you're gone, they might know your name. And Van Gogh was insane. On the canvas of your mind, you use the colors of the blind. A lot of grays and black and white that the world don't understand. They laugh at genius. They always did. They say any fool can paint a fence. Fields of hay and sunny days. And Van Gogh was insane. We should all be crazy about what we do. And they should let us fools just be fools. It's a blessing and it's a curse. But not using what 
you got is so much worse. You lose your house. You sell your car. All that matters is your art. So when you're gone, they will know your name. And Van Gogh was insane. The previously mentioned musician Ralph Friedrichson of the Paul Thorne Band asked if we could meet for breakfast somewhere sometime. He said he'd like to pick my brain on how I write songs. And immediately I wanted to say, you don't write songs. You let the songs write themselves. They come to you, they come through you, but they don't come from you. Jerry Reed taught me that the best ideas are found in the subconscious mind where they appear as dreams. And Jerry Chestnut taught me that they arrive when you are alone before dawn, like his country classic, Four in the Morning. Roger Waters taught me that the secret tends to be hidden in silence. That blank space between the notes. The key to Pete Floyd was truly the dark side of the moon. How do you write a song that stays on the charts for 14 years? Roger Waters said, you learn to leave a hole. Leave a hole in the door. That's for the lock and key. Behind it's where the mystics find all of life's true mysteries. There's a hole in the clouds so the sun can shine through. True blessings all seem to come just right out of the blue. The masters of the art know the secret to the gift, a hand full of magic that's just beyond our fingertips. In every great song Hank wrote, there's empty space between the notes, a sacred place where holy ghost whisper, leave a hole. Leave a hole in the wall. That's where the gang will meet, one led by the Sundance Kid and old Butch Cassidy. And there's a hole in the soul that stardust falls in two where genius suddenly appears at the calling of the muse. The masters of the art know the secret to the gift, a hand full of magic just beyond our fingertips. In every great song Hank wrote, there's empty space between the notes, a sacred place where Holy Ghost whisper, leave a hole. And let me close with my newest collaborator and one of our very best friends, Dr. Shirley Strange Allen, a Ph.D. in education specializing in autism. She connected me with a band that she manages, the contractors, going on stage at six o'clock, and I understand, viewing us. She gave some of my lyrics to their vocalist, guitarist, Lynn Wilson. Isolated in his home studio, on a ranch with a gate that's locked, at an undisclosed location east of Dallas, Lynn creates musical magic. And one of my favorite arrangements that he's done on any of my lyrics is a thing that we simply call whole nother thing. There's a world that is hidden. There's a world that's unseen. It's the one I imagine. And that's a whole nother thing. There's the noise I tune out. There's the song that I sing. 
there's the sound I create. And that's a whole nother thing. Because I got a mental TV and a soul radio where I dance with Mozart and I paint with Van Gogh. At the far end of the dial, heaven waits in the wings in touch with my inner child. And that's a whole nother thing. They tell us to grow up. And they tell us not to dream. So we forget how to love. And that's a whole nother thing. In the Lord of the Rings, that's a whole nother thing.